good day to you. I'm not going to say good morning or good afternoon because I don't know where you are and what time you're going to see this. But the reason I have the armor on today is because we are going to talk about the armor of God. And first we are going to establish the position of the soldier. As we proceed during uh, this uh, video, I am going to take you through the elements of the of, of the armor of God and the importance of the elements of the armor of God. I want this video not to be too long so that you don't get bored. I just want to be clear and I want to make it simple so that even the regular person can understand what the armor of God is. Because the armor of God is a spiritual armor that every child of God needs to have on. If you do not have your armor on, you if you go into this battle that is raging, if you're a Christian, automatically you're part of the battle. If you realize that there is a war going on or not, you're part of it anyway. And let me make sure that my, my helmet is tightly on. I don't want to lose my helmet because I'm telling you, if you enter this battle with just even one part of the armor missing, I tell you, you're going to realize very soon how pathetic and pitiless you are against the enemy because Paul in Ephesians 6 to 17 he puts it into perspective what we are up against he says for we do not fight against flesh and blood but we fight against principalities we fight against the powers we fight against the rulers of the ages of this darkness and we fight against spiritual hosts of darkness in the heavenly realm even if you just had one of these entities to fight with, you would need the full armor on. So I'm telling you that if you have the four to fight, you better gird yourself. I have written a lot of notes today, which we're going to be looking at. So I don't miss anything, right? First and foremost, the soldier needs to understand that you can be in the army, but you can be in different positions. Yeah, there are three positions that every Christian is in you are either advancing you are either retreating or you're actually in the worst position as far as i'm concerned you have been neutralized if you're retreating you're back in the world at least you have this idea that you're having a good time but you're not but if you have been neutralized you are going to church you're doing all the things that the christian is supposed to do but you've been neutralized because one part of the armor is missing he says because of these four enemies therefore put on make sure you have the belt of truth the belt of truth needs to be securely girded. You need to have the breastplate. I don't know if you've noticed that I'm missing the breastplate. If you go into this battle without the breastplate, this necklace, it doesn't matter who prayed over it. It doesn't matter if it's made from diamonds or whatever. It will not help you. You need the breastplate of righteousness. And then you need to have your feet shod for the preparation of the peace of the gospel. Then you need to have your helmet. Your helmet is for your salvation. And then you need to have a shield. Shield. With this shield, you are going to quench. You are going to extinguish all. The Bible says all of the fiery flaming darts of the enemy. Not one or two or some. All of them. And last but not least, you need your sword. The sword of the spirit. Without the sword of the spirit, you cannot do anything in the army. Because it is what you need to slice. To cut through the enemy's lies of deception. Okay? Now I'm going to break them down for you. What they actually do for you. You know, the truth, if you do not have the belt on, you can be going to church. But the truth, you are missing. If you have had not had the revelation of who the Father is in your heart, you're still an orphan. You have the orphan spirit. You cannot fight for a father. You do not understand that the Father loves you. There are two truths you need to know. You need to know that God is your father and he loves you. And you need to understand that you are a child of God. 
When you understand these things, you are going to fight with a zeal. You are going to go out there with passion. Neutral is not going to be your position. If you have the truth, you're always going to be advancing. Yeah? And then he says, after the truth, he says, your breastplate of righteousness. Yeah? The breastplate of righteousness is what guards your heart. Your guard needs to be constantly sealed and guarded from the enemy because Jesus said from the depths of your heart, that's where the heart, the mouth speaks from. Jesus said, it's not the things that you put in your mouth that defile you. It's the things that are in your heart. Those are the things that make you dirty. You have to be holy to see God. You cannot see God if your heart is dirty. So put your breastplate of righteousness on and be on God. Yeah? Number three, shod feet. Your feet have to be shod to bring the, the, the gospel, the peaceful gospel, because we are the feet of God. Freely it was given to you and freely you must give it to others. Go and win souls. Tell your neighbors. Let everybody know that you're a child of God, that you're ch chasing after Jesus. They like you, they don't like you, that's after them. They don't, who don't, the ones who don't like you, pray for them. The ones who like you, encourage them. You were not born on this earth to be liked. You were created to worship. You worship to live and you live to worship. That is your role as a child of God to worship him. Yeah? Number four, it's this. This part of the armor is so important. You cannot afford at any time to take it off because it protects your head. Your head is where the two parts of the two parts of the body that you need to be for salvation to come inside and that is your eyes and your ears yeah you saw somebody acting out jesus and you believed or you heard the gospel or you read the gospel and you believed yeah you need to protect your eyes what goes in your eyes you need to protect what goes in your ears that's why you cannot afford to take off the armor and start watching all kinds of things and start hearing all kinds of things worldly music worldly movies they are so bad for your salvation they will pull you back and neutralize you you can be going to church doing all kinds of things for god but you will be neutralized because of the things you are watching yeah in africa they're all glued to the television watching Nigerian movies. Nigerian movies are all about witchcraft. Everything that God abhors. In, in the Western world, they're all glued to the television watching Hollywood. Hollywood is about sexual immorality and murder. Everything that does not edify God. Music. Almost all the worldly music is about sex, sex, sex. And the love, the world go, calls love, which is not love at all. It's lust. So pick out your music properly and whatever you're watching and whatever you're reading. Protect your head with your helmet. Yeah? You cannot go into this war without your helmet. You'll be neutralized. Secondly, I had two, hel uh, two sh swords here. Yeah? I had, uh, I mean, uh, sword, uh, I had two shields. Yeah? I had two shields. But I decided I'm going to use this big one because I need big faith to accomplish what the Lord has sent me to do. You need strong faith because the Bible says without faith, we cannot please God. And the Bible also says in Hebrew, Romans 10, 17, I'll tell you what's, what it says about faith. It says, it's Romans 10, 17. It says, consequently, Faith comes from hearing the message. Faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word about Christ. Yeah. So you cannot please God without faith. If you have not heard the message about Christ, you cannot 
you cannot please God. It goes on to say, but I say, did they not hear? Of course they did hear. Everybody, we all celebrate Christmas and Easter. Everybody knows about Jesus. Not everybody has understood. Unless you understand that this Jesus who died on the cross is the son of God. And you believe upon him. You cannot please God. Your faith is useless. And faith is the currency of heaven. So you are poor. You are poor without faith. And have you noticed that the enemy is always fighting you? Let me tell you what the fight is about. Every struggle, every trial, every temptation that you go through, it's about the devil trying to take away your faith. Because he knows that when you have no faith, you're not only neutralized, but you will retreat. You will go back in the world because you are an irrelevant Christian. Without faith, you can do nothing. You need to have faith and you need to, 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 to know who Jesus Christ is. Jesus is the Son of God. And last but not least, the sword of the spirit. This is the only part of the armor that is used for offensive. The rest of the armor is for defensive. It's what you use to defend yourself. But this is what you use when the devil comes to you and he says, I got your number. You look at him and he says, I got your number too. And he who is in me is greater than you. I am a child of God. I am the head, not the tail. And every weapon that is fashioned against me shall not prevail, shall not prosper. Because I have God in me. And I am advancing without the word of God. You've been neutralized because the enemy will throw lies at you, but you have not memorized the word of God. You do not know what to throw back at him. Even Jesus needed the word of God. What about you? Jesus Christ himself neutralized the devil with the word of God. And keep advancing because the higher you go, the smarter your devils become. It's not The devil didn't come to Jesus one time and leave him alone. He came back three times. He even followed him in the desert. And after he left him the bible said he left him and waited for another opportune time so keep sharpening your sword the word of god keep sharpening it i thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please scroll down and subscribe and do the thumbs up like and pamela mpishi you can also find me on facebook Pamela and Pishi, friends of God. Thank you for watching and God bless you.